Hackers say if two North Country hospitals don't pay a ransom by September 19th, they'll release patient and employee data to the public. It turns out an August 31st breach at Carthage Area Hospital and Claxton Hepburn Medical Center in Ogdensburg is a ransomware attack. 7 News reporter Thomas Caffarella covers our top story tonight, speaking with the hospital CEO, Rich Duvall. Um, we've been notified by the threat actors or the people who committed this crime um, that this is a ransomware attack um, and they are demanding a ransom. It started out as suspicious activity in computer systems of two North Country hospitals. Now it's revealed that the hackers have patient and employee data and want to be paid by September 19th or they'll release it to the public. Rich Duvall, CEO of Carthage Area Hospital and Claxton Hepburn Medical Center says the facilities are not paying the ransom. The idea of paying the ransom or negotiating with a criminal um, does not sit well with us and there are no guarantees that they will honor their end of the deal. Duval says that the hospitals remain in control of their own computer systems and have recovered most of the data that was initially lost. That said, officials realize the hackers do indeed have some hospital data. Just how much or what that is, isn't known. We're unsure of the extent of the information that they have um, and are concerned um, that it may include some patient information and some employee information. As hospitals work through this attack, Rich Duval tells us it's important for communities to know that the Carthage Area Hospital behind me and the Claxton Hepburn Medical Center in Ogdensburg are still open, including the emergency departments. Duval feels even though the hospitals were hacked, the communities they serve are victims too. The hospitals are here to provide care for the sick and afflicted um, in some of their worst times of their lives. And unfortunately, anyone who attacks a hospital are attacking those people in our community. As hospitals learn more about the data stolen, each will reach out to the patients if they are believed to be affected by the ransomware attack. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.